Hi guys, this is Alaric and I custom build UAVs. Uh, what I have here today is a diversity receiver from Ifron Tech. It's a 5.8 diversity receiver and along with it I also have a 5.8 2.5 watt video transmitter. Let's start with the receiver. Uh, as you can see it's pretty well made. It's got a nice aluminum cover and an aluminum casing which I'm sure acts as a heat sink. It's a pretty pricey unit but it also comes with a ton of features, uh, most important of which being the channel RSSI. As you can see here, it is numbered one through seven, one being the lowest, seven being the highest. It's got these little indicator lights. And that what that lets you do is basically monitor your signal strength of your video feed. That way you know when you're at the end of your video link rather than fly out of it and go blind and have to turn around to regain your signal or video feedback. Uh, pretty important safety feature I think, something that uh, a lot of video receivers should carry but don't. Uh, it also has a mic input uh, which I think is pretty interesting. I uh, wondered what it was for until I read through the instructions and realized that the mic input is used for recording uh, descriptions while flying. I mean, you can record your voice and describe the video while flying FPV and you're having it, uh, you know, downloaded onto a DVR. It also has a composite out, the antenna 1 and 2 indicators. It runs off of a 6 to 15 volt DC. And yes, this is the channel switcher, so you can switch between channels. And what you don't see but is hidden under, under, underneath this sticker is the USB output. That way you can actually connect this to your laptop and view the video on your laptop rather than uh, have a separate FPV screen but it also enables you to DVR the FPV flight and other details. Uh, I, so now we move on to the video transmitter which uh, aptly named the Wattzilla because it's a 2.5 watt unit and that I think is pretty powerful considering that uh, most units out there are in the range of 2 watts, uh, right from 200 milliwatts to a 2 watt or a 2.2 which is the most which is the most powerful I've seen out there. But uh, apparently it did not put out 2.2 watts and was a lot less than that. Uh, the 600 milliwatt uh, Immersion RC gave better range than the Chinese made uh, two watt unit, but this is a well made unit from uh, Ifron Tech, which is a 2.5 watt, well made, pretty compact, pretty small, which means you can also put it on a FPV racer. It's that compact. Uh, if you want to know the length, I'll give you an idea of how long it is, and it's uh, about an inch and a half, oh, a wee bit more than an inch and a half. And as far as the height goes, yeah, it's uh, three quarters of an inch maybe. But either way, pretty light, pretty small. It comes with a cooling fan, which is uh, an interesting, which has an interesting feature. And that is, it is thermostatically operated. So it doesn't constantly run if the unit is cool or if you're flying and you've got natural airflow around it, the fan does not need to run or does not run because uh, it's getting sufficient cooling from uh, the natural airflow. That means it's not going to be sapping battery power by running a fan on the video transmitter. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, keep watching for more videos. I'm going to be putting this on one of my aircrafts and going to be testing the range of it uh, at 2.5 watt. That's going to be a pretty long flight. But uh, that said, uh, I can't wait, wait to see the results. So until next time, take care.